Good morning. Uh, it's Thursday morning in Hong Kong, and at last um, we've got the paralleling working for the three phase, so it's now functioning. So we set it up. We've got two three phase inverters set up here together. Uh, for information, you can see the version here. I'm not going to read it all through, but I'll put it up on the website. So uh, is the version of the MCU and the comms, everything else is, is a little bit different to the other inverters. So you can see the version we've upload, upgraded. It. It's now available. Um, everything's functioning. The only thing not functioning is the um, the gem port. We're a couple more weeks just testing, but if you're not using the gem port, everything else is working fine. So we've got two inverters set up together. Uh, we've updated them to the latest software. Um, we've connected to a three phase AC. As I said, be careful. If you're not a fully qualified electrical engineer, do not touch this. This is dangerous, I keep telling everybody. We've got the CT coils on the supply coming in. It looks a bit of a rat's nest, but it's only a, a demonstration. So we've got the CT coils here and the phase rotation meter. So we can see the phase coming in. We can see the phase rotation is running perfectly fine. So it's all good. Um, if we look at the, if we look, the two uh, screens are mirroring each other. And if we go onto the, you can see the flow and you can see everything is in the three phase and everything is actually mirroring. So let's see without, as I say, without further ado, let's put some loading on it. So I'm going to put a loading on here. So this is an incandescent load and this is a motor. So we've now got a three phase motor running and we've got an incandescent load. There we go. So you can see perfect phase rotation. So, of course, it's got perfect favourite rotation because it's running a motor and the motor's not pouring with smoke. So, we know it's working fine. Two inverters in parallel. Um, the only thing is, we've got the comms. You know how to set this thing up, exactly the same as before. We go into advanced setting, multi-inverter. We select one is the master. Okay. Uh, and one, so, master I put as, as Modbus 1 and the other one we set it up as, as a slave. Um, we go on to... Um, Advanced setting, multi-inverter, slave, Modbus 2, both clicked in parallel. Also make sure you've got good communications with your battery. If you haven't got communication with the battery, it won't work. The communication with the battery only functions on the master. So we've gone in here, you see the I've only got a small battery and it's communicating fine. Um, the other one will, won't show communication, but it will show the information. So it's in fact the battery is at 100% and you can see it's showing 100%. So everything's mirroring, but the BMS will not will only function on the master. So everything's mir mirroring. Okay, so let's let's turn off the AC and we're now going to go to battery. So flick the AC off. We're now instantaneously um, fully synchronized. Nothing happens to the motor. Perfect. We're now running on battery. So the thing is now running on battery. Two inverters working in parallel. Um, they're both delivering uh, 490 watts each, 490, so you can see. There's a slight discrepancy in the values, that's normal. That's due to some tolerances and cable lengths, etc. But apart from that, everything is working perfect. So, we have now got paralleling three phase inverters. So let's see, you know, it's quite special, we're not sure. You don't forget the other thing is, we, we also do asymmetrical load. So you can also asymmetrical, but the asymmetrical load is more when you're using for the standalone inverter. When you're putting more in parallel, um, it will do asymmetrical load to a certain extent. Uh, but be careful your, your your cable sizes. Be careful your battery sizes because there's much more power in this. So it's a beautiful piece of kit. And also, don't forget, it's a thousand volt MPPT and one MPPT. It's got two MPPTs, so we use all the latest solar panels. So there you have it. Three phase paralleling, working perfect. So thank you for watching. Choose smart energy.